In today's video I'm going to show you 4 ways you can quickly change your renderings from a summertime rendering to an autumn one. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all about changing your renderings from a spring summertime rendering to an autumn one or a winter one. Okay, we're using four uh, easy steps, uh, three effects, and one prop. Okay, so I'm going to show you. First one is really changing the colors of your vegetation. So Lumion has in the editor part of the program so in the photo editor when you're actually going to render your um, your images um, a effect really nice effect if i go here i'm going to show you if you go to effects uh, let me see where it is oh sorry autumn color okay so this is the effect we want um, but there are some things you need to consider when you're using this so this basically changes all your greens from the default lumion library to more yellowish ones or more uh, reddish ones okay but really important thing is if i do this if i do this in all the layers for example considering all the layers of my project if i go and change for red uh, the cypress, like I have here in image in this project, they don't really change for that color. So you really need to be careful uh, and exact, for example, some lavandulas I have here, you really need to be careful what plants do you really want to choose. So what you have to do before you actually apply this, this effect to your image is having uh, the vegetation that you want to change color in a separate layer like I did here. So I'm going to apply only the, only to the layer two of this effect so i have the sambucas i have some trees here generic trees that i'm going to show this autumn uh, feel uh, to of my renderings okay i'm not going to change it to red uh, i i i think this red it's a bit um too much but you can try it on it depends really on the species of trees of, of the plants that you want okay so this is more visible with trees and big shrubs but we can have some other vegetation for example imagine that um, i'm missing here uh, i want to add here some of uh, this um, shrubby plant uh, to this um, in the balconies i want to just a little touch of red okay so what i do i what i you can quickly do is just add all these identical ones put it in the layer 2 go back to the photo editor and now it's red as well as you can see so you give just that little touch of course after you need to actually choose the plants accordingly um, that will actually change color but this is just the first step and a really easy one just don't forget to add just a specific plants trees shrubs etc to that layer so you can target only one layer and not all the project because there's going to be some inconsistencies there so another really really nice uh, tip for this atmospheric and it's more a prop is that i like to add but again in a different layer so you know you you have this this um this really easy way to prop from spring to rendering um really easy with just using the layers is leaves okay so i add this uh some leaves in the layer three and some leaves underneath the trees so when i go here in my photo mode let me just show you quickly i can quickly using the let me show you here actually as it's here without effects but in the end, I actually gonna do the effect, the, the renderings, and show you. Okay, from I'm not show you a summertime to a, a more spring summer to more autumn winter feel. So I have here the leaves. Okay, so using the layer visibility effect, let me just search for it. This is the one. Okay, it should be in featured. I'm using Lumion 12 Pro. Okay, you can quickly uh, go between the the show of the leaves or without okay so without if you do a more spring summertime okay so this is just to show you and this is just one of the effects that you need to add to your renderings another thing i really like is the after rain shots okay so 
you go here, you add the precipitation effect from your effects list, but you go to the phase. I'm just going to go closer here. So normally by default, uh, let me show you what the effect of um, normally by default, this this uh, this uh, effect when you apply it first you have this particular size so you have speed and you have the precipitation phase like here and this is actually showing you a lot of rain okay what i like uh, personally is the after rain so when the floor the, the the pavement the concrete in this case it's a bit wet i really like that use of lighting and reflection in that wet parts so what i do is i put the particular size and the quantity really down to a minimum and the precipitation phase as you can see here you're seeing from really rainy to just after drying out the floor as you can see here and the laundry so you just choose um how wet you want the pavement but without actually any rain falling okay so i love this lighting and these wet spots in the concrete i think it just gives it that little touch another thing i like to use is and the, this is the fourth one the final one it's fog okay you can add fog in the rendering here uh, as an effect or you can actually rent, uh, add fog to your actual model if you really want to be a bit more precise um, and you go to the effects and you have here fog effect don't forget to have dust that's windy with really sandy desert kind of thing uh, but you actually have fog okay and you after you have the water dust uh, or steam if it if it was from for example a hot tub or something like that you could actually add that for atmospheric so if you have if you want something a bit uh, like closer to the prod to the model it really depends what what you're trying to create but you have something like this of course you can play around with the size and the density like you have here uh, but i really like to add a little bit of fog in the background but i add normally i add here as an effect so you can see here the colors playing the sun i really like this lights um the end of the day sun coming in so you can see there a little bit of fog it looks a little bit artificial so i'm gonna take that off probably but if you play around here with the fog you can change the density you know and it starts closing in on the project or oh, don't forget it could be a bit too much um okay just you know because I still like to see some cloud shape, but of course you can play around with the settings and uh, and see what's best for you and uh, the brightness as well. Okay, the more bright it's going to be, the more ref uh, refractive lighting you're going to have here. Uh, but you can play around. I'll do the renderings um, and I'll do like spring, summer and winter rendering uh, and I'll add to the end of this video. Okay, I hope you like it. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.